Let's make sure. someone to actually come in here and tell me if I'm doing well, but, okay, let me make sure, sounds like I am, oh, it's coming from my phone, hold on a second. Okay. What's up, Dyla? Can you hear me? This is a new one for me. I, I love it. It's, it's all mine, too. Not really. My roommate has uh, access to it, but I, I think I'm the one that uses it the most. So how are you doing, bud? It's funny. I have to look that way, but I have my chat on the laptop over here so that I have enough counter space. Can, I, can you hear me all right? Am I doing good? But who's all in? I think we just have... I think you're the only one in here for right now, Dialogue, but uh, I am going to be making some eggnog tonight to really break in the holidays. Holiday is buffering. Is it bad? It could just be my phone is... I wonder if I can do this better. I wonder if I can do this better. Don't think so. It's probably gonna be buffering just a little bit because I'm using my cell phone as my camera. So, but I'm gonna, I guess I should probably get started doing this whole thing. And we'll be, uh, we'll be, uh, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for here? I'll be going back down to my regular computer. I'll be switching over so it'll be, more stable once I get off the cell phone camera. But like I said, I'm doing eggnog tonight to really bring in. Okay, cool. So what do you need to make eggnog? Well, you need eggs for one. I'm using pasture, pastured eggs. So like the chickens are on pasture, they roam around free. Gives them, they eat more uh, animal proteins so that yolks come out a little bit richer. You need cinnamon. I use ground nutmeg. I just get the stuff in here. I don't have, I'm not so fancy that I grind my own. I need some granulated sugar. I'm gonna be using quite a bit of that. And some things that you might not normally use in a kitchen if you're not familiar with it. Some cloves. Get a whole cinnamon stick. And then some pure vanilla, not imitation. I want the real stuff. You never drank eggnog, man? It's delicious if you do not get the stuff in the store. And you'll be able to make your own now. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. I should, gotta say, I should have put like the recipe in the chat. But like tools that you need are measuring cup, for liquids, measuring cups and spoons for solids. Uh, you can use a hand whisk and, uh, or you can use a blender or a normal, or just like, you know, a lot of people have these. Well, I can't remember what the name of it is at the moment, whatever. And then for when we put this on the stove, this right here is like a thermometer for making candy or deep frying, but it's for like going in liquids and it'll stick on the side of your medium saucepan. It's a little bit of a specialty item, I guess, but this is gonna help cut, uh, when we start that process. Learning moments, but 
The, I also need one other thing. Where are you? I need my... Is it in here? It is. You know, wire strainer so go, that you can get the cloves and the cinnamon sticks out. But that won't be until after the stove. So I'll just put that over there. But get yourself a good mixing bowl, get yourself a good kitchen bowl, trash bowl, and let's get started with this whole thing. Take your watch off, make sure your hands are clean. So wash your hands every time you cook. That is, I think, a golden rule. Especially we'll be using some raw eggs, so I'll be washing my hands probably more than once. Just got my towel down here. But another thing, we're just using the egg yolks in this. So the uh, let's see, I almost forgot. Normally you would use like whole milk, but I've decided, I uh, through advice from my mom, decided to use half and half, which makes it come out really creamy, really rich. So we're doing four cups of that. And we'll go ahead and put that in first. So like I said, get yourself a good measuring cup. We're doing four cups of that half and half. And I tend to be a very like precise cook. Like, if, a, if directions call for a specific amount, I'm like, it can't be one little pinch over that. And you don't really need to be that way most of the time when cooking, but that's just part of my personality, I suppose. And this does make quite a bit, but it's all fun. Like, I like it. It's a, it's, it beats buying it in the store where like it comes with all these preservatives and everything else that comes with buying something in a store for stuff that's like long transit. Now with the eggs, which we're putting in next, I just get a mason jar because we're just using the yolks. So I'm going to put the whites in here and you can just do whatever it is you want to do with them. You can make uh, just a like egg white omelet or like a meringue, if that's your thing. I don't know. I've never made a meringue. So I'm really just like beat egg whites until it uh, until it like fluffs up, all the proteins start sticking together. I don't know the science of it, but all you really, you don't need anything special. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this, but if you crack open an egg, ah, I'm doing this in the wrong, wrong area, right there. I meant to put the shell in there. You'll probably get a little bit of a mess, but don't worry about it. I just separate my yolks by hand because I'm trying to be less squeamish. But that those egg yolks are just going to go right into that half and half. And there we go. Right into the jar. And this is why you need a bowl like this right here because makes it so much easier to keep your kitchen clean while you're cooking. Meringues are nice and pretty easy too. Just egg white and sugar, I believe. That's what I thought too. I've never made one before though, but I've been getting into cooking lately. So I've been trying to get explorative, explorative, I don't know the word. And by the way, so when I was talking about the egg yolks and like the, the type of eggs that I'm using here from the chickens, if you can see it, I don't know the lighting. I have nothing but overhead lighting right here, so it's kind of terrible. But let's see if I can get that up close to the camera. You see that yolk is nice and orange versus like a bright yellow. Because that is, uh, that's, a, that's what lets you know that, hold on a second. That's let, oh, lets you know that it's actually got some stuff in it that's better for you than 
most store-bought eggs. Now I let these sit out for a little bit so they're room temperature. Get off of there. So they're a little bit easier to work with. But those just go in there and we got most of the messy stuff out of the way so I'm just gonna wash my hands again and get all this crap off me. So the, uh, we got our egg, egg yolks in there, clean that off, but I just put that in the fridge. So I'll be able to use that later and like probably just make an omelet for myself. But I love mason jars. They come in handy for all kinds of stuff. So I would always keep some handy, get some for your kitchen. So we got the egg yolks in there. We got the half and half in there. Now we need, uh, we need our cinnamon and nutmeg and sugar. Now, this is not a drink for uh, someone that's on a diet. That's for dang sure, because we're putting two thirds of a cup of straight up sugar in here. And this is where I, I said that I tend to be, I'm trying to be less strict about how I do this stuff. So I'm not trying to be perfect with everything. This is the way. <laughs> this is how Mandos make their eggnog. But then, uh, I think, it's, let's see, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon or any additional. I mean, you can put some in afterwards, uh, after it's done cooking, if you want, for, for taste. But right, so tea, two, mm, two teaspoons. Just sprinkle that down in there. It'll get all acquainted. And two nice big teaspoons of cinnamon are in. Now the nutmeg. You might not want to put a whole teaspoon in. I'm gonna put a whole teaspoon in because uh, nutmeg's pretty powerful but I like it. it is, uh, I think I, we used to get a, uh, I'm trying to think, how, we used to get like the, the canned uh, eggnog and we'd, uh, like my mom would make French toast with it and I would always just pour some in a glass and uh, put some nutmeg on the top of it. So that kind of have like a, a little bit of a special uh, flavor for me, I guess. Now, I am following a, a little bit of a recipe. I've tried this out before, but we're going to be, we got everything mixed in there. We're going to have to blend it together for a few minutes. I don't know if this is going to be loud. Hey, Merry Christmas, Cali Cows. Toast is from France. <laughs> toast that is from France. Ooh, French toast. But I don't know if this is going to be too loud or not, but we're going to start off slow. I'll be watching chat. Oui, oui. If, uh... Bonjour, monsieur. Monsieur. Tu te belles Um, but if this is too loud, let me know in the chat, and I will try to do something about it. But I imagine that it's going to be... But let's see if we can get this to work well. We're just trying to incorporate everything. Get it nice and smooth and frothy. It's not really going to thicken up here, because it's not going to seriously thicken up until it 
it gets uh, cold, but we're only going to do this for like a minute or two. So beat up that the eggs start. Uh, I, like I just don't. I can't remember exactly what's going on. This week, Kevin. Bonjour, Kevin. Comment ça va? too much. You're just looking for, I think, a little bit of foam there. I'll probably go a little bit longer just to go ahead and put that in here. Just to keep everything clean. Probably just do this a little bit longer. <laughs> Some idea. I've been I've been trying to learn French. Spanish. I don't understand the French. <laughs> I need to get. I've been trying. I'm. I've been learn trying to learn languages for a while, and always. Well, that's in there now. I've been always kind of get set back with it because I just kind of lose motivation to get it done. And now I found a website that I think is really good for it. Now, like I was saying, I don't know if you can really see it in here, in there, but we're nice and frothy, got a lot of light air incorporated into this. So that's what we're gonna be putting into that medium-sized saucepan. I think that, that's good enough. But put that in that saucepan like I was saying right now. And this is when we're gonna be adding in the cloves and the whole cinnamon stick. Now, a medium saucepan can hold more than four cups, but with it being all beat up, it's probably gonna, like the foam will probably sit up on the sides a little bit, don't worry about it. This is the part that makes it a little bit annoying. If you went to Spain, I could speak in sentences that were like really bad grammatically, but they'd understand me. I feel like that's where I'm at in French right now. I'm not really, like I know words, I just don't have enough words to, uh, really put sentences together. I can just do some small phrases. And like I could, I could introduce, like uh, I could say like what my name is, but oh, uh, I wish you were here. It smells so good already. But it's fine. And then about two teaspoons of cloves. I don't, I'm not gonna use a tea, I'm not gonna use the actual spoon for it, but just enough to like, two of these right here. Fill up your hand about that much, like that's down in the crook. Let those get all up in there. So the cloves are gonna add a nice bit of flavor to this. And a cinnamon stick. Now, you don't need to do, that's my last one. You don't need to do a whole one, but about an inch or so. You can just break it, and I'm gonna put a whole one in there, but you don't need to. I just like cinnamon, so it's going in there. And this is where the fun starts. Now, we've got an electric stove, and we get this thermometer on there. Let's get this where I can see it. And where is it? Okay, right there. And now we're gonna be doing this for probably about 20 minutes or so. 
You want to keep it stirred up. You don't want to heat this very fast at all. You do not want to cook the eggs. So you do not want to see any curdling. This is, when I say cook it on low, I mean cook it on low. Like, you do not want it starting to, you don't even want this to simmer. And it's a nice, easy process. So it's something that doesn't need to, it's like when you have the time to make it. Give us a tour of his kitchen. Yeah, dialect, turn your camera, turn your camera on in the kitchen, it'll be fun. This is my first time doing this, so I don't even know if I'm doing a, a particularly good job. What else can you even see on the camera? Let's see, my George Foreman, my knives, my water bottle. Hey, look, my bananas. <laughs> but it really is an easy process to make this, but you just want to stir it frequently. So I don't think you have to do it. You don't have to stir it constantly, like nonstop, but you do want to make sure it's not getting hot on the bottom. And you want to make sure that what's getting warm is coming up to the top so it heats evenly. And it'll probably be, so in about 30 minutes or so, 25, 30 minutes, it'll probably be up to temperature. And we'll be able to take it out of this, take it off the heat, or turn it up just a little bit more just to get it really where it needs to be. But then once we put it in the fridge, I'm a PJ's man, not gonna turn on my camera shut. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with two induction plates, and you could just put the camera down on top of them and cook that way. I was I was actually because it's Christmas Eve, I was contemplating just doing this in my uh, doing this in my in my PJs as well. Throw on some sweatpants. If I'm live on stream, yes. But now we get to we get to hang out a little bit. You sleep in shorts. I sh I don't really like to wear anything while I sleep, to be honest. I'm a sensitive person. Now we can start putting stuff away so that it's easier to keep the kitchen clean. You know, ratatouille, arms in, sleeves up, kind of stuff. But. Now I'm not gonna I'm gonna warn you if you do make this, it is uh, it comes out very very thick, almost like a custard, but it is delicious, like more so than it deserves to be. It is ridiculously good. Yes, can you even see that? No, oh, you can't. All my spices and everything make me feel like a real grown up. Uh, all my spices and everything make me feel like a real grown up. I'm sugar to go in there. I need more cinnamon sticks. I'd rather sleep in casual pillow clothes. Eh, just wear nothing. You'll be alright. I think. Do I have anything that I like? This is where I need other cooking projects now. I guess I could pull out my dinner while I wait for this. Let's make sure. Yeah, we're not even up to 100 degrees yet. Low and slow. And Team Four, like TFT, like Team Fortress Two.
Make a meringue with the egg whites. I could. I don't know what I would do with it though. Like I could just like throw it on a cookie sheet and put it uh put it in the oven. I don't know what. Oh, let's see real quick. Let's see if I can. Team fight tactics. Is that the uh, team fight? Is that the uh, the the uh, ch it's not auto chess? Is it or is it the auto chess with um, the auto chess with League of Legends characters? I never got into those. I saw them. But it just looks like I'm looking into nothing when I'm trying to look at chat. It's silliness. My cinnamon sticks are gone. I need to get new ones. So, is there anybody that's in chat that has not been here for the uh, duration of this, that needs the directions? Okay, yeah. I, those are interesting games. It's kind of annoying though that a lot, some of it's based on uh, on RNG, but preheat oven 220 degrees Celsius. Line two baking trays with non-stick baking paper. Use an electric mixer to whisk egg whites and salt. Whisk on that. Oh, you went up another step. Whites and salt to soft peaks form. Gradually add sugar a tablespoon at a time, whisking well between each addition until sugar dissolves. Once all the sugar has been added, continue to whisk on high for three minutes, whisking the vanilla. Use two teaspoons to spoon meringue onto line trays. Reduce oven temperature to 90 degrees Celsius. Why? If I need to, why would I preheat it to 120? Dialogue is not chef. Chef dialogue. Do I need to go get a new hat? I think that's one of my. Did I put that on there? Yeah, my channel points had. Lost your chat. Pick a number. Oh, yeah, if you have a thousand of ch my uh, channel points, I'll change my hat. <laughs> I don't know why I put that in there. I have a few different hats to wear, but to to those of you that might have channel points. I can't get distracted. I need to remember to stir this. Redeem hats off to you. Oh, okay, hold on a second. I'll be right back. I gotta go. Do, I gotta get a different hat. I didn't have them lined up. <laughs> Right. Let's get this stirred up. Make sure it's not getting too hot. I'll be right back. There's pick a number between one. Oh, you actually redeemed it. Hold on a second. Change out this hat for the anime inspired one for our, our Gundam fans. You know. All right, Callie. I'm going to write the number down so that it is legitimate. So I have written the number down, Callie. Go ahead and put in chat what you think it is. Number between one and a hundred. Twenty-four. Oh, that's forty-two. You just got them reversed. Can you actually see it? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna bring it right up to the camera. 
It's a little dark. Hold on a second. Where are my lights at? Wrong light. Right light. There we go. Let's just mark that one out. <laughs> it's like, nah, flip it. By the way, if you're when you're cooking this, if uh, if it starts to get chunks in it or starts to curdle at all, take it off. Take it off. Just lift the whole pan up and stir it until everything starts to settle back in. Like you do not want it to curdle. Like so when I say cook it on low, cook it on low. But yes, it is starting to warm up. But yeah, we're starting to get up into the range where it's actually got numbers on the thermometer. Oh, and by the way, with the hats thing, I do have more than one hat. I've got, a, I've got a few sitting over there now, just in case. I'll have to bring them back downstairs with me when this is all done. So what we're looking for temperature-wise uh, is around 160 to 170 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. Celsius, probably around... Uh, Probably around 75 to 80 degrees Celsius is what you want to get this up to. Now, if it does like, if it's not as frothy, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay that way the entire time. So while it's cooking, it will start to settle. That's not a big deal at all. I see, yeah, I just added that one to a hundred thing just uh, a few, like 20 minutes before I started the stream. And uh, I set the point, the points that you need at it to be like if you watch for an hour to like an hour, hour or two, like an hour or two, oh, that you should be able to redeem that. What else do I have now? I forget. Message highlight, posture check. Well, I'm not sitting, so that's not necessarily a thing. What, no one wants me to run an ad? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I think I have some good ones. I don't know. I have, I have on there that uh, if you get enough points, you can put new rewards in there because Wisdom of the crowd, so to speak. I figure my audience would know more of what they want. The cycle or dauntless, both three on epic. Then I, I think I'll have to when I when we go back downstairs to play games. I will do that. I'll, I'll look up the cycle or dauntless. And we should play them once you've done this. <laughs> I should probably turn that one off while I'm doing something that's... Container to put it out, put this in once you're done to put it in the fridge. So, this is what I am going to be using. Get something like Pyrex, another brand is a brand name for one, but try to get I can't remember exactly what these are because it's not a measuring cup, it's actually got a name for it. But something that has a lid, I just prefer this because it has a uh, pour spout on it, so it makes it a little bit easier. 
was hoping it would say what kind of container that is. Oh, fourth place. Fourth place overall. That's not that's not terrible. It means you picked a relatively good team. Seems familiar. Can you can you actually hear the music that I'm playing right now? I was just doing some lo-fi stuff that's hopefully not copyrighted, but we'll find out, I guess. Poor man's Monster Hunter. That's, I, I've played Monster Hunter for about 20 minutes. You know what we should play, Dialogue? We should go back and play some Vermintide. I think... I th oh. It's been a while since you've played that. Uh, I need to get... I, I have Monster Hunter. I just took it off my computer because that was a word. funny as I was making this smell of vision would be nice yeah <laughs> that would be awesome I think that like if you could just make up uh, something that shoots out like a glade air freshener but it had like flavor profiles that could mix together PV EVD I mean I know that I know what Player versus environment versus player, but PV, let's see, PVV, PVVP, PVVP. I was not lying when I, when I said this was slow. Well, you have to. Like, I'm cooking it on electric. This is gonna be in your head now all night. Huh? It's not really smell o vision. What else do I have in here? Can I make something real quick? Make it do some impromptu stuff. I got my meatloaf, I got my pork chops. It does do smells. Hmm. Like I've been I've been actually cooking for myself like a real adult. It does do smells. Raino vision. We just passed the 100 degree mark, so we're getting there. <laughs> what? What part of the new Star Wars? I guess the, like the newest Star Wars. Dude, venison is delicious. I love venison meat. Dude, 
Like I just, I I need to go hunting is what I is like. I need that mushroom sauce. See, I, I'm not like the biggest fan of mushrooms. I like them, but I mean, I wouldn't say I like them. I, I can tolerate them, but the uh, I don't know. I like the venison part at least. It seems I one. I didn't even want to watch the new Star Wars, but when I eventually went out and watched it, but hmm, did not. I, I just. I didn't enjoy the story. And, uh, I was like, I have some, I just made meatballs, like meatballs and a sauce by hand. And it turned out not too bad. Like I didn't, I was something new, so I was just following a recipe. And it didn't call for any sort of like spices or anything in the sauce. So the, uh, the sauce is it's like real meaty because I cooked meatballs in the sauce, so a lot of that fat and grease kind of got out and mixes with the sauce. But it uh it turned out better than I expected for someone like that. I, I'm not a professional cooked chef or anything like that. This needs to go in the sink because it has that egg all over. But this is, this is, I like, I like this. I'm glad, hopefully it's not buffering too bad. I haven't gotten anyone saying anything that's bad about it, about the stream, I mean. But this is a, this is an interesting new way of doing this. I wasn't expecting it to work out as well as it is. And I'm actually, I might do more stuff like this in the future because I need to do meal prep stuff anyway. So, if I can actually just stream it while I'm cooking, it might be a, a cool way of doing something. What we got here? No, we're getting up there. We're at about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Potato gratin. I've heard that. What? Why can't I? Why can't I not remember what that is? Explain. Explain yourself, Dialog. That was the freaking word. <laughs> you just like racking your brain for it. something of a snack. Don't worry, I won't forget to stir this. We will not ruin the eggnog. But. Now, I'm just gonna take some, just crush, wash these off.
but some fresh mozzarella. Have myself a bit of, what is it, like caprese? Put these in the bag. Keep stirring. I know this is not like a Christmassy flavor, but I know. I'm gonna say I like mozzarella and tomatoes. Like mozzarella. Well, I feel so bad for CD Project Red well, that so that was not a and that's not a way you want to go out. <laughs> Like all that hype and just uh, like I'm sure it'll get fixed. I know, why not? It's delicious. It's delicious. Like, I honestly had never tried do, like doing this before like, until I did, as it goes. But I can't remember why I bought the mozzarella, but I had the cherry, like I had the little cherry tomatoes for something else. And I was like, mozzarella and tomatoes go together, right? So I just started eating them as a snack. And like, I know it's a thing, but I couldn't remember what it was until my mom was like, oh, so you're just eating caprese. There's not any chunks warming up in this. Yeah, it's starting to get there. Salad caprese is big over here. Not so much here. I can't really think of too many places where it's like a big thing. I didn't make myself any holiday meals. Now, this is the the one thing. Oh, dude! Actually, I have some balsamic vinegar, and I didn't think about that because if I there we go. Seeds up? Sure, why not? And it's 
That one's a little bit too big, but... And this is supposed to be pre-sliced mozzarella, but... This is, this is one thing I like about having ingredients in the house, is that you can actually go and just on a whim start doing something. And the more that you know, the more that you can do. <laughs> I do too, actually. I've got a big one and a small. No, oh, excuse me. I've got a big bottle and a small bottle. Because when I started cooking, I didn't know how often I would be using olive oil or not. So I went and got myself a little tiny bottle. Tiny, tiny bottle. I'll just put a little bit of that. That's probably way too much, but you know, whatever. And. I don't really like balsamic vinegar, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of that on there. For no reason whatsoever. Boom, I'm chef. And we're getting there. Probably about 10, 15 more minutes, maybe. And we'll be all the way up. I'm probably being a little bit too conservative. I stopped doing it because I started making all the wrong things. What wrong things would you be making? Tiny fork. I like your suggestion. Merry Christmas, Dialogue. You've never actually tasted balsamic vinegar? Well, I can tell you from my perspective, it's delicious. <laughs> well, I will occasionally... No, no Christmas this year. I am Grinch. I'm Scrooge. I don't actually have a top hat though. I have a boulder, like the round one. I don't actually have a top hat though. I have a boulder, like the round one. That only comes out if someone does the hat thing. That only comes out if someone does the hat thing. I need a, need a picture of Dialogue out stealing Christmas lights. We're coming up on 150. And we're going strong. <laughs> yeah, I probably used a little bit way, way little, a little bit way too much oil. But the oil and vinegar was a good choice. <laughs> Just skulking around in a big bag. And some poor homeless dog that you tied an antler to its head.
Actually, more vinegar probably wouldn't be a bad idea. The olive oil is just for greasing up your veins so you have better blood flow. That's science right there. show where you're making all this stuff no one can actually taste it or smell it they make this over at our local Italian place like a very small version for free when you go there that's a there's a restaurant chain like I'm sure everyone knows uh, Fucking Olive Garden. That's not what I'm talking about. There's another one called Carabas that does the whole um, oil and vinegar with bread. And I mostly just like it because I get to eat the vinegar. Let's uh, big potato wedges, like uh, fried potato wedges with uh, malt vinegar on them. That's where it's at. Like, don't worry about ketchup or mayo or mustard. They just put vinegar on them. Yeah, I'm probably being just a bit too conservative. But I have, so when I was a kid, uh, my mom and had in the kitchen like this box of instant tapioca pudding and I could never make it. Like I tried, I'd follow the recipe and put it in there and it was supposed to be like a, uh, when I say tapioca pudding, I know some of my guys, it was like a custard. I'm sure you know what it is. Um, but the, uh, for some reason, I would always try to make the damn stuff and it would never set. So I'd be cooking it and stirring it and trying to get it to like do its thing. And uh, I put it in the fridge, come back the next day, and it's still like a soup. So I have like a bit of a thing with anything that's like custard related, which is kind of what this is. It's a little bit of a, a thin custard. Oh, 
shoot. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I used a little bit too much oil and vinegar there. Hello, Cleveland! Where's Soupy Pudding? Definitely punk ska. I mean, ska is already kind of punk. Mostly because no one really listens to it. You can put in as little or as much as you want. 
It's like 10 times bigger than yours. I'm sorry, dude. Now, that is not the very last ingredient. Here's how you actually finish this off. A nice bottle of rum. I'm gonna use Captain Morgan's private stock. Now, this particular batch will not be completely ready until probably for a few hours, but I'm gonna chill it overnight. I'm gonna take it to my family's Christmas celebration, but I'm gonna be putting about two shots, or I'll put two and a half, one and a half of rum in here to really make it kick. Yeah, that'll be enough. Not trying to get hammered at the parents' house. But stir that in there, make sure it's all incorporated. And this will set overnight. Yahoo! So yeah, that's really where this is gonna to shine. We'll start putting that in, especially spiced rums. Like that's gonna add a little bit extra to it. Now, I would prefer to have a little bit more in there. But that's just me. But that's all good to go. You can put it in whatever container. This is very enjoyable, but I'm glad it is. That actually makes me happy to know that this little experiment of mine of doing a cooking stream actually worked out and people enjoyed watching it. But take this, and it's very warm, but take that, put it in your fridge, leave it alone. And this is where we pull out the other one that we already had prepared. <laughs> now we really are like a cooking show. It is Christmas now. If I can open this. There we go. Oh man, no, it slap back down shut. Let me go from the back. There we go. I was just being a genius. I already had some made, and I'm gonna, I made this the other day. And I put about two shots in it. I'm gonna put one more. Just because it's mine and I can. It's probably too thick to really add it in there, but. Where's my spatula at? Without the swap. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's like it takes, I wouldn't be able to do it. Like, I wouldn't be able to cook it and then drink it in the same night. So, I was like, if I want to do this, as a stream where I am cap I'm like it's possible for me to take this out and drink it on stream, I need to have some made already. And I don't know if I I don't know if I made it right, quote unquote, but I do know that I like the way I made it. Mm. So that's all that really matters. Get yourself. I'm, I'm normally I would just drink this cold. You could probably heat it up and it'd be just fine. But I'm gonna pour myself in my Primo coffee mug, and you can actually see like how thick that is. But it is worth it. I'll probably drink that all myself. Damn boy, he's thick! It is, but it's so good. And I think that that concludes, I think, 
the cooking portion of tonight's show. Now, here's the part. I might have to go have a go at this, but I'll probably back my diabetes. Dude, if you if you have health problems and you think that don't don't don't, I mean it is really good. Watch. Yeah, or you can just cut back on the sugar a little bit, or find uh, there are sugar alternatives that might work, like stevia or whatever that stuff is. I have no idea. Actually, I want to try this. I'm probably get stuck in my mustache. I should just heat this up a little bit, but I don't really want to. Mmm. Yep. No cutting back on sugar, to be fair, though. I don't know. I don't know how to switch this from my cell phone to my computer. Ate some Ben and Jerry's top earlier and a pizza, so. Yeah, go make some eggnog, man. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a little bit of the rum. But if you uh, if you didn't get a chance to see this, I'll probably put it on YouTube. I mean, I do have a YouTube channel, so I don't know if there's anyone new in here that uh, I don't know if there's anyone in here that's new that hasn't seen that before. But I do have a YouTube channel that I try to do stuff with. It's hard to do with work, but. Uh, I'm trying. Mm. Fuck. I think I'm gonna go back downstairs. I saw that you commented on one. Get the Christmas sweater back on. No. It's a it's a life project sort of thing. I'm just vlogging. Fill that back up. But I'm trying to make it. It is a lot of work, but it's interesting. Like I'm uh, forcing myself to have to discover new things and trying to edit. Trying to edit and do music and all that to and B-roll. So that's like my biggest thing is B-roll. I don't know how to really do it artistically. So let's go. I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can't start the stream on my computer. If it doesn't work, I'll be back up here in a second. Please stick around. <laughs> 